Hi there and welcome to the cooking class. My name is Nicole, I'm a registered dietitian and today I'm gonna to teach you how to make chicken enchiladas that are not only easy and delicious, but kid friendly and they are healthy for you. You can find this recipe on the American Heart Association website. I'll make sure that you have the recipe and you're gonna know all the steps to make this in your home, even today if you want. And kids, get excited, put on your chef coat, put on that chef hat, you're helping the parents cook dinner today. The first step is to collect your ingredients and preheat the oven to 400. This is a perfect meal to make when you have a leftover chicken. Make sure you take away all of the noticeable fat and the skin from the chicken before using in this recipe. But I have about a pound of a whole chicken. You can use leftover chicken, you can use rotisserie chicken, you can even make chicken prior for this recipe. Grab your chicken, place it in a bowl. My chicken is already cut and pulled into bite-sized pieces. If yours isn't, make sure before you put the chicken in a bowl, it's cut up, it's sliced, it's pulled, just so it's easier to eat when you put it in the tortilla. Next, one can of beans. Make sure you drain the beans. It's gonna help reduce the sodium. One can of low sodium tomato sauce. And then one teaspoon of chili powder. Now, if your family does not like chili powder, you can always do it less and just put in some salt and pepper. But if your family likes a little bit of spice, add some more spice. This is the fun part about cooking. You get to use the seasonings and spices and experiment with different tastes. Now I'm gonna add just a little bit of black pepper. And I'm gonna add just a little bit of salt to bring the flavors out because I use mostly no sodium ingredients. I almost forgot, we need to add the corn. Make sure your corn, if you picked frozen corn, your corn is all the way defrosted and then stir it in. The next part is the wrapping of the tortillas. So let's make sure our sleeves are all the way up. Our hands are nice and clean. And you're gonna grab your bowl of chicken, grab a big scoop, and put it on the edge of the tortilla. You might need about one to two scoops, depending on how hungry we are. Now make sure it's towards the corner of the tortilla so it's a lot easier to spread. Fold in the sides, wrap it, and then roll it down. Now where the seam is, you wanna make sure that is flat down just so none of the good stuff gets taken out. Make the sauce that goes on top of these enchiladas. Grab one half cup of fat-free sour cream. Some people also use fat-free Greek yogurt, whatever your family has. And a can of the low sodium tomato sauce. Two teaspoons of chili powder in this sauce mixture. And remember, you can use more spice if your family likes a lot of spice or less spice if your family doesn't like as much. Mix this up. And then you're gonna pour this on top of all the enchiladas. Be careful not to make a mess. Now that it's all covered, let's put it in the oven that's already preheated at 400 for 15 to 20 minutes. This is when we may need our parents to help us so that we don't burn ourselves on the oven. Look at that bubbling. Smells so good. All right, let's dig in. I am stoked. Mmm. That sauce on the top is so creamy. A little tart from that sour cream. Wow. Not only is this recipe great for your heart and great for your heart health, but the protein in here is gonna be great for strong muscles. The beans and the vegetables in here are, have a lot of things called vitamins and minerals that are gonna keep you healthy and help your immune system to stay nice and strong. This recipe is a 10 out of 10. I hope you try it. Let us know what you think and have a wonderful day.